back with Britney Spears. Baby One More Time is the CD. Phenomenally successful, and you have yet to enter your senior year of high school. That's a pretty big accomplishment for a little kid. All right, now let's talk about the Nickelodeon Awards. Listen, I'm 37. How old are you? I'm 17. I'm old enough to be your mother. <laughs> I don't want to see you in that shirt again, unless oh, you have I'm a vest. I'm so glad you're bringing this up. I was so humiliated. You do not understand. I'm going to Orlando thinking it's going to be like 90 degree weather. And a storm, of course, goes through when I get there. And then I go out there, and when I came back, there was nothing I could do, and I was so humiliated. Yeah, and... it was cold. Things happen. Things the point happen, is, you know. I understand. <laughs> the point is, you promise me next time, the white shirt, you put a little cute vest. I will definitely You promise do that. I me? Promise you. I will ground you. I will, Brittany. Don't make me ground you. <laughs> because you are a sweetheart of a girl, and I know you are. How's your knee? You got hurt, didn't you? Yeah, it's a lot better now. What happened? Well, I was dancing in dance rehearsal for my second video sometimes, which I just shot. But um, I kicked my right leg in the air, and my left leg was on the ground, and it just, like, totally went out on me. Really? So, yeah. Did you have to have orthoscopy or anything? That yeah. You did? Yeah. I had that, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's sort of amazing. They can go into your knee with a little camera and I fix know. things, and you can sort of be walking two days later. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Do you have to do physical therapy and everything? Oh, yes. You do? Yeah. Right. It was a pain in my butt, so. How was the World Music Awards? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Did you get to meet anyone you idolized? Anybody? Yes, I did. Actually, I was laying out. I had like one hour off. So I go outside and I'm laying out. I'm just laying there. And Felicia, I, somebody had their foot on my, my little my layout table. I was like, Felicia, who's got their foot on my table? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, well, you should get his foot off, you know? So one of my dancers comes up to me, TJ, and he's like, Brittany, guess who's laying out beside you? I'm like, who? And he goes, that's Ricky Martin. I was like, ugh. You can put your foot there. <laughs> No, just, you know. Did you talk to him? No, I didn't. I was nervous. I were you before. nervous? Yeah. Yeah. You have the cutest little accent. You're from new, right near Louisiana, mm -hmm. Baton Rouge. Where mm -hmm. you near? It's it's called Kentwood, Louisiana. Kentwood. Yeah. And I like it because all of a sudden it comes out a little more southern like that. <laughs> it's just adorable. Little Britney Spears, not even seen your night school. <laughs> And you got a lot of hit records, and I think you're just adorable. <laughs> now, uh, you started your career, as did I, on a little television show called Star Search. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Oh, How old God. were you back then? I was nine or ten. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Have you seen that recently? <laughs> no. Would you like to get a little glimpse? I guess so. I guess you would. Oh, sad. Little cute Britney Spears. Take a look at her on Star Search, nine years old. Look so tortured about watching their own clip. <laughs> I hated that. My hair, I have this huge bow on my head. Oh, you well. were just a cutie patootie little girl. Mm -hmm. You were. Well, you always were a singer, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're, when did you start singing? Was really since I was a baby. I've always been singing. I've always loved, like, always listening to the radio and all the time. Yeah. And your parents, are they singers? Anyone else in your family? No, well, my mom's, um, her family, from, which is from London, they play instruments and there's a lot of, on her side of the family, they sing. So but I guess that we're a couple. No one professionally? From. No. And when you were nine years old, did you go around singing professionally then, or was it just like at school? Well, I would sing like at um, competitions and like you know for functions. I'd be like the entertainment. And then the first thing I did was the Mickey Mouse Club. That's when I really realized I love to sing. Right. So, how do the kids at school treat you with big number one hit song and everything? Are they? I mean, well, I still have my same friends back at home, and we're like sisters because we grew up together. So. I'm always on the phone with them, and when we go home, it's like still normal. Like we go to the show and the movies and stuff. Yeah. So you have to do that. I agree. Do you find it hard to deal with the fame part of it? Are you able to go out in the street, or everyone knows it's you? I mean, you? sometimes I'm just now starting to get like you know, like you'll go into a store and people will, will be like asking you for your autograph and stuff. But it's flattering to me. I think it's really sweet. Yeah. Well, you're a le level-headed young girl, and I hope that you stay that way, and I think that you will stay there in Louisiana. It's a nice place, and uh, it'll keep you grounded. The teen people, there you are in there. Look at you, cutie patootie. All right, <laughs> there you are. Look, uh, look at, um, look at, what am I saying? I'm not even speaking. Look at teen people uh, to, forget it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's the cover, that's what you'll buy. It's in a magazine stand, and it's good. <laughs> You know, if I spoke better, obviously, I'd be much more successful than I am. But i just like to say... Good to see you, sweetheart. Take care. We'll be right back after this.